ask you uh, your name and where you're going to school here? I'm Rosemary Murphy and I go to school at Plymouth State. <laughs> And uh, there's an event tomorrow that you've heard about. Yep. Uh, can you tell me what's going on or what you've heard about it? I've heard that on? there's going to be two people with guns on campus that are going to be visible. And although they're going to be visible, I still don't think it's a good idea to have guns on campus, period. Guns on campus is just an opportunity for violence, and having that opportunity for, that, for violence is going to create more violence, especially in an atmosphere of adolescent teenagers who have hormones rushing and raging and just want to you know, don't really think about what they're doing. So I think it's a bad idea. Okay, and so uh, certainly uh, personal responsibility comes into carrying firearms, or driving a car for that matter. Yeah, but I don't know, I feel like guns are a little different than cars. Okay, so uh, a lot of people will bring up Virginia, Virginia Tech and yeah. the uh, events there. Mm -hmm. Do you not think that guns on campus, other individuals armed, would have stopped that sooner than waiting for police to show up? And I'm not so sure, because I'm not sure everyone is trained for to have guns and people could be shooting up and accidentally shooting other people. I think we should have higher security, possibly. More policemen on campus, more policemen with weapons to protect the students before we let students have guns on campus. So you would have a, a cop for every person that is walking around? Not every person, no, but I would have it close by in every building. I think having the opportunity to have a gun is just wrong on a college campus. Okay, thank you very much for your yep, opinions. Thank you. <laughs> Heather O'Day. Hi, Heather. Um, so you have a little bit different opinion on uh, firearms on campus? Um, not really quite on campus. I'm pro-gun, but I don't think that individuals on this campus should be having guns that are loaded and whether they're concealed or not. I just don't think that people, like my friend Rose said, I don't think people have training at this age. And maybe they do, but they shouldn't bring it on campus. Not around all these kids. Okay, so there's a personal responsibility issue there. Mm -hmm. And uh, one, the real challenge, uh, as I understand it in this, is that the university system claims to be somehow different than a town, seems to claim private property here, or private property rights, and the ability to make their own rules as opposed to uh, other political jurisdictions. Any, any knowledge about that or thought about that? Um, I don't have a ton of knowledge about anything except the email that we received and that it's, you know, they're going to come on campus and all that stuff, but um, I just don't think it's a smart idea to put them on even like our public campus because you don't know what's going to happen. I think it's going to be more negatives than positives. Okay, so you, so you support gun rights. Now, what about if just some criminal shows up and disregards all gun laws and makes an appearance on campus and wants to cause trouble. And you um, think that providing kids with guns would help? I think that, uh, we're not interviewing me, but that's okay. <laughs> I think that uh, responsible people that carry can help prevent um, issues from getting out of control. Definitely, but when you have the right amount of training. Like, I have three younger brothers. They're younger than me. I'm 21, so they're 19, 18 years old, and they know how to use a firearm. They know how to use it in, like, a protected situation at, like, a firing range, but do I think that they should still bring a gun to school because they know how to use it? Probably not. Not around kids that you know, we'll take it away from them, or anything. There's just too many situations. It's bad news. Okay, one more thing. Uh, how about teachers? They're adults, they're responsible. They're around they... kids. This is like a, it's a totally different environment. You don't want to put something like a gun in a situation where there's way too many people, way too many situations that can happen. Okay, and uh, do you think it, there might be a teacher that does carry concealed without I anybody knowing? I hope not. Okay. I don't think that's smart, but okay. I mean, even though they might know how to use it, it's just not the place to bring it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Some of the first weapon restriction laws in the United States were passed in the South in the 1870s as a response to the freeing of recently enslaved African Americans. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. 
I wonder how prohibitionists would feel if they saw medical marijuana vastly improve the life of someone dear to them. Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. At one store I get a high point, nine milli, papers for my joint, and a pack of fillies. Yes, I'm feeling very honored, but if the world were truly free, I could also buy my marijuana. It is mine's the very honor. In fact, take a look at this. There's no longer the uh, shady behind the back alley, hand a bag over, hand some cash over, now it's open. We're, we're here. We have three of our signature strains. This is all being raffled away the day before Halloween, so someone's gonna have one of the best Halloweens of their life. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippie! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? We have abdicated ownership of our own bodies and lives, and it doesn't make any difference at all whether that's guns or marijuana or automobiles or our marriages. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. Coming as soon as we can find someone cool enough to distribute it. <laughs>